So to be frank, I don't really know what this is. All I know is that I'm bored. All I know is that I'm bored. That we've gone into another wave of lockdown. I live in New South Wales in Australia. I live alone and I am running out of things to do with my time. <laughs> I'm running out of things to do in this house. I'm running out of messes to clean up and I'm running out of things to do and I'm running out of things to watch on YouTube and I'm also running out of patience for seeing a lot of people living these really beautiful lives and I mean beautiful in the sense that I know that these people are really aesthetically driven and I respect that in the sense that they know how to take a good shot and they know how to make breakfast look beautiful and they know that it is necessary to have those shots of them walking in between frame and frame for sake of continuity and story making and everything like that but it kind of just it kind of just leaves me although psychologically it you watch it and you know like their intentions are their intentions are to make something beautiful that people could enjoy to make content that can make people happy and I am not shitting on it at all like it works like I watch people like Hannah Lee Duggan and Leah's Field Notes and like all those and like they make like beautiful aesthetic content that does make you happy it makes you you know like it's good stuff but it also leaves you with this false sense of at least me I'm not gonna stop talking in you because that's very much projecting it leaves me with this sense of not like why isn't my life like this but like oh well, kind of like almost just like like watching them do something makes me feel like because you watch someone else live a day it kind of just takes it takes a part of your day I guess does that make does it make any sense does that make any sense <laughs> I don't know I don't know. All I know is that I've found myself, especially, especially over this pandemic and especially over living by myself, over like transitioning into living by myself, although I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. Adjusting to that has been really strange. Because um, I've lived with people for a number of years, including my family and like just other people. And I have ADHD, right? And if you know what that is, if you know, if, I think everyone knows what it is, but it goes a lot deeper than what everyone kind of considers um, the extent of it. And there's so many people in here that talk about it. And I think it's something that I want to talk about because it's something I'm pretty passionate about because there is a lot of misinformation around it and stigma and everything like that, but that's not really what I talk about. It is... One of my motivations is like other people and I think uh, maybe if you have ADHD or I think other pe normal people like normal people, neurotypical, you can, I think you'd identify with that is the sense of like if someone's coming over to your house, you're like, oh, I'll clean it, you know, like other people can be a really great motivation to doing for doing things. But I found when I was living with people, it was, it became more of an anxiety. Um, it's a good motivation every now and again, but if it's your only motivation, then I found myself to just be living in a constant state of like anxiety and paranoia and just this constant awareness that I was living with other people and that I had to be perfect and that I could never really have my guard down. Um, that's also just a lesson on boundaries. <laughs> that's a lesson on like me not having any, like looking back now, like reflecting that I didn't have a good sense of boundaries and a good sense of my space, which is something that I'm working on now. Um, but now that I live alone, I don't have that. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I let, I don't really let my space like run into a muck. Like it's always clean. I like living in a clean, organized space because that's how my brain just relaxes a little bit is if the space around me is clean. Oh, fox rain. Hmm. Hmm. Um, 
If my space is clean, then my head can function a bit better. If I need to look for anything, I'll know where it is. If I need to relax, I won't look somewhere and be like, oh my god, that's messy, it's really frustrating me. Like, not everyone's like that, but I'm like that. <laughs> but, what I found at least, and this is a really long roundabout way of me getting to this point, is that I've slipped into that really easy hole that you can slip into with ADHD, or just with anything. Um, but for me, it's specifically with an ADHD lens in the sense of, like, dopamine. <laughs> the easiest way for me, for my brain to get it, is to watch YouTube videos. And ones that are really pretty, and ones that are about, like, living just a really relaxing everyday life, and, um, you know, it's like nothing grandiose, it's nothing special, it's nothing in your face, the colours aren't too bright, like, it's all very soft and with music and it's just stuff that is so easy to consume and so pleasant and that's my happy place <laughs> and that is such oh my god brief thing ADHD is it's a problem with dopamine it's a problem with your dopamine receptors in your head you don't get you don't get it like normal people do um, if you want to look into it more, look into it more. There's plenty of videos on it, but that's like the gist of kind of what I'm talking about. It's hard for us to have satisfaction. It's hard for us to get that feeling of, oh, this is this is giving me this sense of like, mm, like I'm satisfied. Um, yeah, and videos, especially just the consumption of media, is so easy nowadays, and just doing something is so hard and it's this constant thing of just and I know people can resonate with like me like people will resonate with this in the sense of like once you're able to like actually just get yourself to do something you're doing it and you're like oh this is so much easier than I thought like it is just doing it but when you're sitting there mulling it over and trying to think about it it's the concept the can like conceptualizing it is so hard like it's so it's so hard especially when the easier things to do is just to like like dead ass just like sit and start daydreaming like just to sit even if I'm just like if I just like shut my computer off and I'm like okay no screen just to if I'm in that state of like um what's that word sedentary if I'm just sedentary and I've brought myself down to that level, it's really hard to work out the motivation to go anywhere else. And so I'll just like sit in that sun in my sunbed right here and just stare at the trees and zone out and just find a way to be happy that way. In my head, what's coming to me now, it's like if I allow myself to get, like it's, it's, it's what everyone says where it's like, if you start your day on your phone and you just stay there and for me that makes a lot of sense in the sense of it makes a lot of sense in the sense of if I if my like dopamine goes okay it's been this easy to get dopamine for this amount of time at this early on in the day anything else is too much harder and it it does it just feels like trying to think about doing anything else is like telling me to like go and do a hike for three days like I have the same amount of no <laughs> you know like if you if you wake someone up like and it, I, I mean in the sense of I would love to go on a three-day hike like it, those are beautiful but like wake someone up and like they're on their phone and then just like yell at them and be like no now you're gonna go on a hike for three days in the cold and then it like it, like the same amount of like fuck off no I'm like I just woke up I'm in my bed it's that same kind of thing when I think about like, oh, like what else can I do today? It's like nothing, like just sit and do this. It's so much easier. Like, mm. and I don't know, I don't know if, I know people with ADHD will be able to like connect to that. I know that and I have to kind of find safety with that. And even people with not ADHD, maybe you, like anything else like depression or anxiety. I know those things can be equally as debilitating. Any other kind of like invisible illness. There's people out there, there's people out there that will let it don't get in your head about it, Annabelle. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've just... I found myself at a loss of, like, what to do. 
you know and I don't I don't just want to be like sitting watching something and not doing anything <laughs> like that's not what I want my life to be and I started another YouTube channel a while ago doing like card reading stuff because I find that like that's another thing that I really love and I'm trying to build up in my real material world I'm trying to build up a thing around that like a path a job <laughs> and it's a really good practice but I've been away from my cards for a while and I think I need to start practicing again and I've been meaning to start uploading stuff there but it takes a lot of energy if I'm not in the perfect space like I just gone through a little bit of a thing recently and I just don't have the energy to give to that at the moment and I guess like this kind of thing is a similar kind of outlet in the way that I have all of these feelings and all of these thoughts around my day-to-day -day life and I, I, I can journal them which has been helping a lot like I always journal always have always will it's one of the best things for me but I feel like there's a difference energetically at least when you're like talking it out and you're getting it out somewhere it feels somewhat more transformative and like you're actually doing something with something and that might just be placebo and an illusion but it's an illusion that in my brain I'm just sitting here and going well just try <laughs> like just try it <laughs> like you either, this is either the only thing that's ever gonna come of it, and then that's it, or, you know, like, just nothing else. Like, I'm just trying to get myself into a habit of just trying things and not paralyzing myself with fear and anxiety over what could happen or what might come of it or the responsibility that this action entails and like like putting yourself on the internet like that's a that's a thing you're opening part of yourself onto a platform that potentially can be accessed by so many more people that you could ever conceive but then like that's just me catastrophizing that's me in my head going Oh my god, like, what if it, what, 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 what if, what if, what if, when the reality is, like, three people will see this. Maybe not even. And then when I bring it back to that level, and it's like, I just want to try it for me and for the sake of just getting it out there and just being like, all right, cool. Just do it. Just do it. Whatever it is, just fucking do it. And then it'll have one or zero views. And at least I've just done it for myself. You know? So essentially I'm kind of just talking to myself right now. But then when... What is the difference? Um, from day to day life, eh? Couldn't tell you. But it feels like, it feels like it could do something. And honestly, honestly, I think I just have to trust that feeling. <laughs> like, I think I just have to. I just have to. Is that the answer? Huh. Maybe this is what this is for. It's just for me to talk and then I'll figure out my problem. Have a resolution. Work through some feelings. Feel a bit better. I don't know. It's something. And I guess that's all I need, but... Yeah. I wish I knew how to, like, shoot stuff and, like, film, like, really beautiful aesthetic shots. But I guess that's not what I meant to do. I think I meant to just be me and help myself in whatever way that I can. And... I just have to trust that this this is gonna help me. Well, oh, that's fifteen minutes of not really. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. Stop getting in your head about it. Just do 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 it. 
doesn't need to be anything it just needs to be you because you're only doing it for yourself wait you can't even see my hand at that point so what's the point you just need to do it for you i'm also not gonna edit this because i can't be bothered i can't be bothered i cannot be bothered at all it's all right it's all right dude you've seen your other videos two people have watched them max you're fine and if anyone else if any of the two people sees this and they're like cool i dropped my dragon stuff on my nose like three weeks ago and i think it's I think I might have like slightly broken my nose. Because it's healing, but now I have like a little bump that I did not used to have. You probably can't see it. Okay, I'm. I can't be bothered to edit this. I can't be bothered to do many things, but at least I've done something. And that will make me feel better about this day. What's that? Oh, it's a doily. Come on. <sighs> can't go for a skate. Oh, I'm such a Debbie Downer. Oh, oh well. Such is life, you know? Such is life. <laughs> 